Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, it's Game Over Cycles. The unbelievable tattooed motorcycle, the recidivist, comes to life. From the Born to Ride news desk, what's trending on social media in the motorcycle world? It's here, and we want more. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Closed captioning is brought to you by Love Jugs, the most powerful and effective V-twin engine cooling system in the world. Get your Love Jugs at a dealer near you. Find out at love-jugs.com. We had the Love Jugs put on this spring in Daytona. Some of the best money we ever spent. We have bought quite a few miles on them. It's amazing what it does to the motor. I recommend them to anybody and everybody that does any kind of riding. Anything above 50 degrees outside weather temperature, they're beneficial to you. So for us, that's every day of the year. You've got to have them if you're going to ride any miles south to buy that motor. Hi, this is Evil Knievel, and you're watching Born to Ride. The idea of creating a motorcycle covered with real tattoos came to me about 10 years ago. I'm tattooed myself, and I think people have tattoos in order to express their character, just as they paint their motorcycles in a way fitting to who they are and what they like. Some people like skulls, others like flames, and they show that through their bikes. It's been known for a long time that leather can be tattooed, so one day I thought, why not? Let's cover the whole bike in leather and ink it. The bike's concept relates to a long-standing biker tradition. In the turbulent post-war era in America, many bikers led a life on the edge of the law. That's why we called this bike the Recidivist. It was supposed to be completely covered in tattoos and look like a living creature, a person with very strong character who values individuality and a sense of freedom. To give this bike a very specific, old-school style, we had to create the frame from scratch. To relate the bike's construction to the original idea, we couldn't make just a regular frame, so we made it to resemble the shape of the human spine, which nicely fits with the tattoos covering the human body. All these things then had to be fit into the design of the fuel tank. The challenge was to have a modern fuel injection engine with a computer, but have it still look like an old school bike with a carburetor. We had to find a way to hide all the electronics, cables, computer, fuel pump, and everything else. In order to create the tricky fuel tank, we started by forming it out of styrofoam. This was a much better option than first building it in metal, as metal is much more difficult to work with. We fit it to the bike in a one-to-one -one scale. 
Then we looked at it from all possible angles and evaluated how it all fit and looked. Once the styrofoam tank was ready, we moved on to another material, wood. With wood, we could create a form that could be put into the final steel rendition. So we cut the styrofoam into small pieces, replicated the shapes in wood, polished it all up and made one side of a fuel tank, then mirrored that, which eventually gave us the completed tank. One part of the tank is for fuel, while the other part is where we installed all the electronics, maintaining the overall look of a traditional fuel tank. The world's largest attended cigar festival, Arturo Fuente and J.C. Newman Cigar Company presents Cigar Heritage Festival, Sunday, December 3rd, 11 to 5 p.m. at Centennial Park, Ybor City. Enjoy the lifestyle. Hand-rolled premium cigars, 35-foot beer and wine truck, cigar rolling demonstrations, gourmet food trucks, live music by the Black Honkies. Celebrate with Carlito, Cynthia, and Liana Fuente. Meet Bobby and Eric Newman. This free event is sponsored by Maserati of Tampa, Harley-Davidson, Tampa, Brandon, and Newport Ritchie, Westside Barbershop, The Home Depot. Special kickoff party Saturday, December 2nd, 3 p.m. at Davidoff Lounge, Tampa. Whatever you do, don't miss Cigar Heritage Festival Sunday. December 3rd, Ebor City. For more information, see EborCityCigarFestival.com. remaining new 2016 Harley Davidsons have got to go. Crystal Harley has a deal you can't pass up. 0% interest for 100 months. There has never been a chance to enjoy your own personal freedom. Brand new bikes, full factory warranty and 0% interest for 100 months. Not good at math? It means a $20,000 touring bike is only $200 per month. Need more info? Visit Crystal Harley Davidson in Homosassa today. Better hurry to Crystal Harley Davidson. It's here by popular demand. The Born to Ride patch, the smaller one, three and a half inches by three inches. It's only $11.99. Order it at borntoride.com. The embroidered Born to Ride patch. Come get you one. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. In the next stage, we covered the whole bike and elements related to the criminal underworld. We started with the gear shift, which is an infamous suicide shifter made from a crowbar. The clutch and brake levers are formed in the shape of butterfly knives. The brake pump lever is in the shape of a symbol used in legal code. The front brake calipers look like handcuffs. We drew them in a one-to-one -one scale, then we designed it on a computer and put it into a CNC milling machine, which milled the calipers out of aluminum. 
The ready part looked like brand new, but we treated it with a burner and basically destroyed it so that it would look old. This was done on purpose, because the bike is supposed to look like it already has a wrap sheet. The bike's front suspension looks like a traditional old-school coil tattoo machine. We didn't want to cover it with anything, so we took two pistons and wrapped them with copper wire, imitating coils from a traditional machine. Inside there are pistons, springs, even hardness regulation. But we had to fit it in a way so that its looks would resemble that of a traditional coil tattoo machine, while being a fully operational trapezoidal bike frame. Other themed elements of this bike are the knuckle duster, which functions as the rear lamp, and the kickstarter, which is in the shape of a bomb detonator. The icing on the cake is the exhaust pipe, which not only looks exactly like a Cheyenne brand tattoo machine, but also works the same way. The pipes contain tattooing needles, and when you start the bike, the exhaust fumes make the needles mimic those of a tattoo machine. When we started covering the bike with leather, I realized just how large an area I'd have to tattoo. It would be impossible to be done by one person, so I invited two artists from two Polish tattoo studios and a representative from Cheyenne, which makes very modern, I'd say even futuristic tattoo machines. This suited the bike perfectly, and some of those machines were even used to make parts for the bike. When we heard about the idea of building a motorcycle that uh, should combine the two worlds of tattooing and uh, biking, we were directly interested in this project. And the fact that the bike will get tattoos on its leather skin made it perfect for us. When I saw the bike uh, for the first time uh, at GOC in Poland, uh, I was speechless for a couple of minutes. And we started with the first conversations about the bike, the to-dos, the further process uh, very quickly. But I tried to sneak away in every three minutes uh, to get back to the bike and just look on it. It wasn't finished uh, at that time, but there were already a lot of small details on it. And from that point, we were sure that it will be a, a great project, great bike and a great piece of art. We are very proud to be part of the Cheyenne Bike Project and we want to thank Game Over Cycles for giving us the chance to get involved. The world's largest attended cigar festival, Arturo Fuente and J.C. Newman Cigar Company presents Cigar Heritage Festival, Sunday, December 3rd, 11 to 5 p.m. at Centennial Park, Ybor City. Enjoy the lifestyle. Hand-rolled premium cigars, 35-foot beer and wine truck, cigar rolling demonstrations, gourmet food trucks, live music by the Black Honkies. Celebrate with Carlito, Cynthia, and Liana Fuente. Meet Bobby and Eric Newman. This free event is sponsored by Maserati of Tampa, Harley Davidson, Tampa, Brandon, and Newport Ritchie, Westside Barbershop, The Home Depot. Special kickoff party Saturday, December 2nd, 3 p.m. at Davidoff Lounge, Tampa. Whatever you do, don't miss Cigar Heritage Festival Sunday. December 3rd, Ybor City. For more information, see YborCityCigarFestival.com. It's the all-new Born to Ride Biker Text Messaging Club. Join the hottest text messaging club to receive discounts, savings, information on motorcycle events, and a chance to win free stuff monthly. Text BTRVIP to 51660 now. Our children come from different backgrounds with different stories. They learn time-honored values like the importance of faith, hard work, and that an education is something no one can take away. They learn that respect begins with themselves and should be given to others. The Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches, where kids learn, 
laugh, and dream with people who refuse to give up on them. With your donation today, we can give them a brighter tomorrow. Born to Ride is brought to you in part by 866-LAW-FRIEND. Ride safe, ride smart, offices in Palm Harbor. Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazine, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. In total, to build this bike, it took over 3,000 man hours, and the tattooing itself lasted over 250 hours. I like new challenges. I like to face things which at the start seem impossible or very difficult to do. And this project was that kind of challenge. Working on this bike was a cool experience and a learning process. Both of us complement each other on doing it together. We tried various techniques on how to apply ink on such a raw and hard material as leather. It's not the same as with human skin. The tattooing of this bike is as important as tattooing a client's skin, because in each case, you only do it once. The whole bike is covered in over four square meters of tattooed leather. All the tattoos are coherent and relate to the criminal theme. There's only one tattoo which doesn't really suit the bike. It's a card with a piece of H.R. Geiger's art placed on the fuel tank. It was very important to me to have it on the bike because Geiger is an artist who inspires me when I build my bikes. That means a lot to me. To stress the bike's uniqueness even more, we chose the prestigious tattoo convention in London as the location for its unveiling. The last and the biggest tattoo shows Themis sitting on an electric chair. We decided to tattoo it live during the London show. It took more than 40 hours over two days for two tattoo artists to make it, but this way the audience could see how hard it was. I'll tell a few words about the bike, but I think it would be the best to do it when you actually see it, so if I can ask Sasha and the guys to uncover it. We cannot start the bike here, but if we started the bike, the needles are actually moving just like in a tattoo machine. Lots of people gathered around our stand. Event visitors, media reporters, even other tattoo artists who were doing tattoos during the event. Everybody was amazed. It was sort of a sensation. Of course, there were artists from all over the world and a large number of amazing tattoos, but a tattooed bike? Being tattooed live on stage? This was the only one. Shortly after that, the buzz around the bike began. The press started writing about it. The bike got featured on the covers of Bike, Tattoo and Daily magazines all over the world. 
There are thousands of photos on the internet and a number of TV news reports. The recidivist is the world's first tattooed motorcycle. So I think the buzz around it has only just begun. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Hey, Sharpie here coming from Born to Ride magazine. We have got a new bike night that's coming to Central Florida, right here in Apollo Beach at the Salty Shamrock. For those that may know or may not know Sean Rice, that guy knows how to throw a party. Right down 41, it's a great ride at the Salty Shamrock. Gonna have $2.50 long necks. Can you believe that? $2.50 long necks. Vendors, you need to sign up, come on down. The venue is huge. We're gonna have a four-class bike show. So come down and join us. You can't miss it. It's going to be the last Thursday of the month. I want to see you there. Come on down and see us. From the Border Ride News Desk, breaking news. What's hot and trending on social media in the motorcycle world? Check it out here, now on Born to Ride.
faces you will ever see. Send in your news, videos, posts, and rides to be featured on Born to Ride News. So, what is love? Love is being independent. Love is dancing. The Shriners Hospital for Children. Love is a new smile. At Shriners Hospitals for Children, love is caring for a child regardless of the family's ability to pay. If you know a child that needs help, please call or go online today. Is your business becoming invisible? Five reasons to advertise. One, you control the message completely. Two, creates credibility and sense of a thriving business. Three, brings awareness to everything you are doing. Four, find new customers. Five, keeps you top of mind. We could tell you more, but you get the idea. Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779.